All right, so my final thoughts on the LT Wright GNS knife. As far as the sheath, fits very comfortable on the belt. You guys know I'm a fan of leather dangler sheaths or neck knives. A little bit too big for my liking with a neck knife option, but who's stopping you guys? You know, if you guys want to go that route, you certainly can. Just remove this, uh, this dangler loop. I could do or do without the ferro rod loop. That's no big deal for me. I don't carry a ferro rod in the field. You guys know I carry a primitive fire kit as well as a backup Bic lighter. But for those of you who do carry a ferro rod, I still wouldn't recommend putting a ferro rod in a loop. If this thing snags on brush, which we have a lot of it in the desert, you can lose that. And if that's your primary means of fire, that can be very dangerous. So I would recommend keeping it in a pocket or in your pack secured. As far as the knife, I'm impressed with the slicing capability. It slices well, especially that uh, Sabre grind. It can really do a lot of fine slicing. As far as intricate bushcraft design, like we were shaping out that foreshaft, I found that this knife is just a little bit too big for my liking. You can see how long that handle is, and I have a very large fist, as well as the knife or the blade. The blade is a little bit too long for my liking as well. The 90 degree spine is excellent. As a matter of fact, I am going to grind down every single one of my knives to a 90 degree spine. It can come in extremely handy in the field. Everything from crafting bows and atlatls to arrow craft to tinder processing. I like the appearance of the knife. It's very attractive. As far as the edge retention, it is still shaving sharp. It's still removing hair. Might be hard to see that. But the heat treat on this tool is absolutely amazing. Very, very good. I'll tell you what, LT, if this thing came in a smaller package, take it down to 330 seconds, shrink down the profile of the knife, this would be one hell of a tool that I would love to get my hands on.